Hey guys, in this video, I'll talk about how to set up your Facebook ad columns and how to optimize your ads. So a lot of people, when they, when they look at the Facebook data, like they're confused. They don't know like what data to look at and what kind of like how to make decisions about whether to, to make ads or kill ads, what kind of like KPIs or benchmarks to look for. So in this video, I want to show you exactly how I do it. And I want to show you the framework for uh, the key, uh, for the columns that you can utilize, you can just copy and paste it for yourself and utilize it for your own uh, Facebook advertising dashboard. So you can just take a quick look at the dashboard, quickly analyze what is the you know how performance looks like, which ads need to be killed, which ads need to be scaled, and basically make your decisions in seconds instead of like you know just randomly looking at it. So I'll show you exactly how to do it. This will be valuable. You know, both for um, you know dropshippers and uh, ad advertisers who are just starting out, and also for those that are advanced. Also, some of the uh, columns and some of the strategies might be better. right. But we also can uh, basically uh, break down results more on a granular level, right? We can see the results with uh, you know click through rate. So we can see what's a click through rate, right? We can see what is a, a cost per unique link uh, link click, right? We can see co what's cost per uh, add to cart. We can see what is the cost per um, cost per purchase. We can see what is the return on ad spend. Right, all of these metrics we can basically review in a greater details. That's why you want to have this dashboard set up, and you want to have this dashboard basically to give you like a proper view uh, on your campaign's performance within a few seconds. Right, so. It's best to have um, your Facebook uh, column set up correctly so you have 100% accurate picture of their performance. And you need to map out and you need to think about it as a funnel, right? So the way I think about it is, you know, first um, we need to figure out the ads, right? So the ads need to be good, the click-through rate needs to be good, the cost per link click needs to be acceptable, right? Like cost per link click can be, can be higher, you know, for some niches, but overall, like you want to aim for um, like a dollar, you know, at, you know, for, for a link click in some niches, it can be very competitive, but if you are selling like higher ticket product, you can still make it work and it will still be profitable, right? So you have to base, basically break it down from add to cart, um, you know, from, from basically ad metrics, like, uh, like, uh, uh, link clicks and cost per link click to add to carts, um, to uh, basically initiate checkout to purchases. Also, another important metric that we are evaluating is cost per content view. With this account, we, we don't have any issues with this, but overall, oftentimes you would have uh, the situation where your website loads, um, you know, loads slowly. So then Facebook will basically just give you like bad traffic or you will have, for example, a lot of uh, link clicks, but not as many content views. So you're losing many people on this stage because of the slowly loading website. So that's one of the issues can, that can happen. That's why you want to make sure that you're checking your website for speed and you make sure that um, it's loading fast, right? Then the ROAS, right? So obviously ROAS is a king. And here's how, how to calculate the break-even ROAS, guys. If you haven't done it before, please do it. Uh, so for example, you're selling a product for $50. Let's say your profit, you know, like pro after all of the expenses, $35. Then you divide the product price by uh, profit, right? Basically by, by your gross margin. And then you have like 142. That's your break-even ROAS. So basically covers, you know, the ad costs. Uh, that's kind of like where you have to hit just to break even with your ads, everything above that is profit. Aim for 3x, 4x return on ad spend with your campaigns. That's ideally, obviously, you know, not every campaign, not every ad account will perform the same. Some products, you know, you can be profitable with 1.2x ROAS. Some products you have to aim for like 3, 4x ROAS to be profitable. So just find out your metrics and aim, you know, for them. But this dashboard will give you like a good, framework and good understanding on on your metrics so you'll be able to see where your metrics uh, are good where you have the breakdown in your metrics so you'll be able to to track them uh, very accurately so this is what i wanted to share with you guys this is very very uh, very important element of managing uh, advertising i see a lot of people they're just like randomly uh, checking some metrics or they're just looking at like click -through rate overall which is not the best metric because that includes all of the you know like random clicks on your on your page and stuff now some of the tips for optimization guys 
always turn off underperforming ads first. So for example, if you have the uh, ads uh, that are that are underperforming, right? Then, you know, just turn off those first before you turning off the ad sets, right? That's some of the tips for optimization. Make sure you you killing those assets that are not profitable. Always be testing um, creatives in a separate campaign because then you can quickly identify which creatives are working well. You can have you know more structured approach and more clear picture of what's actually working. And then once you have the initial, once you have the initial data, once you see something that's working, break down your ad sets and see you know which segments bring you the most results. So for example, here, if we wanted to break it down, for example, by delivery, by placement, right? We would see which of the which of the placements are the most profitable. It takes a while to load, as you can see. It's like there's a lot of data, right? So we can see like what is whether it's like Facebook or it's like uh, you know like Instagram is performing the best, right? So you can see where the where the ROAS is better, and you can basically uh, once you found like those those ad sets that are performing well on that particular you know placement then you can just duplicate it to that specific you know to that specific placement have a duplicate right so you can reach more people where it's potentially more uh, profitable for you right so these are some of the things for uh, optimization guys so set up your dashboard make sure it's uh, it's set up properly make sure you have all of the picture of the performance of your um, of your ad account in one view, you can identify it quickly within a few seconds. You have a good understanding of uh, of your advertising and where the main main focus of your efforts need to be, right? So uh, thank you for watching, guys. Um, again, if you're looking for help with scaling your business, your Facebook ads, uh, please book a call with me uh, or my team member below. There is a link in the description. We'll see how we can help you to get your. Uh, get restored to the next level uh, how we can help you to scale it up uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel we release videos a few times a week sometimes every day so just make sure you don't miss those please like this video if you liked it share some love guys and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much i'll see you in the next video guys thank you